Hey, what's going on? Welcome to this video. My name is Mike Hobbs and I'm going to be sharing with you how to create clickable images in the HTML form. So maybe you want to put this on as a banner somewhere on, on, a, on a website or maybe on the sidebar of your blog and you just need the code to create uh, a clickable image somewhere on some kind of website and you want to you know know the html so i have two different methods i'm going to be showing you in this video i'll have them on my screen right here and don't worry i will put the code that i'm using in the description of this video so if you click on the see more on, on this video you'll be able to see the actual code that i'm using and that you can be editing uh, to make this super simple for you because uh, I've actually had to Google this many, many times uh, when I'm just in a hurry and I'm like, man, I just need to put a banner on my website. I need to go find the code and I'd have to go search for it. So I just wanted to create a resource for those of you who just want it and I'll have the, the code below this video. So be sure to subscribe for future videos like this video if you get value from it. And if you want more content like this, be sure to let me know some video topics or questions that you have in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and get into the content. So method number one, this is gonna be the easiest one. If you already have the website URL that you want them to go to, if you already have your image URL, so the actual image that you need, and then you know obviously an image description, you could just edit out this code that I'll have in the description below this video, and then you're good to go. So let me just show you this method real quick, and then method two will be using the WordPress blog HTML editor to create a code for you. So let's go ahead and do this method first. So your website URL, this is where you want them to go. So they come to your link or your your image and they and you want them to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I already grabbed my URL uh, for this part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there. That's easy, just make sure you have everything of the URL. So the HTTP colon slash slash your actual website, exactly where they want them to go. Make sure you test this link, make sure it works. And then you put that right there in between the parentheses. Do not delete the parentheses, that will break the link, okay? And then the next thing is your image URL. Now, where do you get this? Well, wherever website you, like, so whatever uh, you know banner you're going for, so for example, I'm gonna be using this TubeBuddy banner that they give me access to, so I'm logged into their affiliate area, and they have like a bunch of different banners that I can use and they actually give me the image URL as you can see. Some websites don't give you the image URL but they'll show you what the banner is and in those cases, here's how you get the image. So A, if they give you the image URL, you're good to go. Just copy and paste that, put it in the code. If they don't, you can always right click. If you're in Google Chrome, you can right click it. You can save it to your computer which will work with method two or with, if you actually click on open image in new tab, this uh, will open up the image in a new tab and you'll see that it's opened up in a, in a new window and then you'll see the URL bar up here at the top. That's your image URL, okay, right there. So a lot of times you can go to a website and if you see an image on a web page, you can right click that image, open it in a new tab and that will usually open the image in a new tab. Sometimes it doesn't work 100% of the time, but, uh, but most of the time that will work. So that's how you do that. You can also click copy image address, which is uh, something you can do if you're on Google Chrome. I don't know how it is on Firefox, but, uh, but again, there's usually an open in a new tab or some kind of copy image address, uh, whatever way you wanna do that to get that image URL then you're gonna come over to this code and you're gonna throw it in there. Now make sure it's the complete URL, just like we have the link, like the actual link to a website. The URL also needs to be a complete link as well. So as you can see in between the parentheses. So there's that and then the image description, I'm just gonna name it whatever the program is or whatever the, the link is about. So tube buddy is what I'm, I'm using right now. All right, so that's it. Once you have that edited, you will just you'll just copy this code and you'll throw it on your website. So I'll just show you an example 
of uh, putting it on my sidebar of my WordPress blog. So if I go over to my, uh, go to appearance, widgets, and I'm just gonna go grab a custom HTML box and I'm gonna throw that on the top of my, my blog. Now, this is what my blog looks like right now. It just has an opt-in form right here, but let me show you what it'll look like once I paste this code in there. So I paste the code in there, leave the title blank, and I'm gonna click on save. And obviously you would paste this code in any website, anywhere on the internet, whatever tool you're using, whatever, wherever you want this banner to be, or image, clickable image, that's where you would put this code. But uh, let me just show you right there. So I'm gonna refresh. There you have it, it's right there, banner on the top of my sidebar. So that's how you do that, that's how you put that code there and uh, and there's some other things you can do too to the code if you if let's say it's not centered correctly you could always add a center uh, code this is a little bit more advanced but uh, but what you would do is you'd have a bracket just the word center right and then at the end you would also just have a backslash or you'd have a bracket backslash center so that's just basic HTML coding uh, basically these little brackets with a backslash, that means end it, ending the center, and then no backslash, just the regular center there. And so if you ever want to center your images or things like that, that's just some little tricks that you can do uh, to make it look better. Okay, you can do that. You can click save, and then, then I can come up here and just refresh the page. And as you can see, now it's centered on my sidebar there. So. You might not have to use that feature. I just wanted to show it to you just in case you wanted to. And that's how I do it. So then when someone comes to your blog or wherever you put this code, they click on the image and bam, they go to the website that you're directing them to. And it even opens up in a new window. Okay, so let's go to method number two. And this is uh, the HTML editor. So what you would want to do is you're going to want to download the image to your computer or maybe it's already on your computer. Uh, again, if you want to download images from a website, you could just right click on any image and click save image as on the internet. This is in Google Chrome and then you just save whatever image to your computer. So I'll just save it to my desktop. Okay. And uh, there we go. So now I save that image to my computer and then you would go over if you have a WordPress blog. Let me just take this off, I'll delete this. What you'll do is you'll just go to a post and you'll click add new, okay? And now WordPress has changed a little bit, the image editor, so I wanted to make sure to show you this because it is a little bit different than it used to be. Uh, you actually have to, they're like little blocks and stuff. So what you could do is just this little plus sign right here, you click add block. And I usually just do classic paragraph, okay? And if you click into there, you'll notice that it's like this, this little HTML editor. So what's cool about this is if you click on add media, so like no, how you would normally add an image, you just click add media, you can upload an image, okay? So you click over here, upload files. You would select the file that you have to your computer, then you would upload it. Now the benefit of this is you actually are hosting the image. So you're in control of the image. So let's say that other website goes down or whatever. You don't have to worry about the image going away. So the benefit of this method is you have the image in your own hosting, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then one thing you wanna do is make some alt text because that shows up in, the, in, the, in there as well. So we'll just do the same thing. Tube buddy. And then I'll scroll down and then right here, custom URL, this is where you grab the the link that we had in the last spot. So wherever they're going to, you're gonna put that in the custom URL spot. You're gonna click insert into post. And then one last step is if you want it to open in a new window, you'll click on the image, you'll click on the edit button, and then right here, this little checkbox, open in a new tab. You wanna make sure you do that, especially if it's a sidebar button or something like that on your blog, because then this will open up in a new window when they click it. And then you're just gonna click update 
And then here's what you do. There's these three little arrows, okay? So you're gonna grab that. You're gonna click on edit as HTML. And then you're just gonna grab this entire code. Now, there might be like a little P. You can take the P off and that the end P, that's just paragraph. Uh, I don't I don't usually copy that part because that's just like spaces basically in the beginning and space at the end So I just leave the P off. It's probably not gonna crush your website Like if I put the whole thing if you leave that in there, it's not the end of the world I'll show you what I mean. So I copied it. Let's go over back over to our uh, widget area, so we'll go to uh, appearance widgets and again, this can be on any website. Wherever you can put code, you can do this, okay? So I'm just gonna, but I'm just right here on my blog, so I'm, this is the easy spot to put it. So if I put that there, I click save. Now let's go preview the blog. And there we have it. So even with the, the paragraph code, it still worked. All right, so there you have it. That's how it works in your blog. If you have, obviously you can take this code, you can put it anywhere else on the internet. But what's cool is you can create unlimited banners. Uh, this is probably one of the easier ways to do it if you don't want to deal with code as much and editing code, uh, you know, like we did in the first step. But, uh, but yeah, you still have to come in here, use the HTML editor, and then you obviously click those three dots and show it. So. That's how you do that. That's how you get the code. There's these little three dots. You can you can toggle back and forth to visibility, toggle back to edit in HTML, and then uh, grab that code. So those are the two methods. Again, at, at method number one is probably the easiest if you already have your URL, if you already have your image URL, and you're ready to go, uh, then this is probably the easiest one. Just grab the code in the description, and then you'll be good to go. So anyway, my friends, if you got value from this video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like the video, drop me a comment if you want future videos like this, or if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you'd like to visit my website, my, my blog is whoismycobs.com. I have lots of cool free resources on that website, uh, including all the top internet marketing tools that I use in my business on one of the tabs at the top. So with that being said, appreciate you. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.